South Africa has the largest number of people living with HIV in the world, with between 12 and 16 percent of the total population currently living with HIV. Responding to this challenge and guided by the National Strategic Plan, the country has developed innovative and bold communication interventions which seek to educate the population, encourage the maintenance of behaviors, promote the uptake of services and treatment, while challenging stigma and discrimination. Helping to reach target audiences are four free-to-air television stations, 11 local language and hundreds of community radio stations, newspapers, billboards and more recently, telephone helplines, social media and cell phone technology. Using entertainment education, radio and television adverts carry clear and concise messaging in bite-sized packages, keeping the agenda foremost in people's minds. Check! HIV come to visit just one and we've got 169 problems in no time. Exponential growth, eliminate the element of surprise. Stop the spread. An undercover lover will bring you HIV from another. Bao, come again. Just think for a minute. She's a beautiful girl, and HIV is the last thing on both your minds right now. Having more than one partner not only means you're taking a chance, it also means that Joe is out there some way, taking a chance for you. Make your move. Naganja. Television dramas flighted in primetime are hugely popular with audiences across a wide demographic. Our lives intersect in a vast network which connects us all. In sex, there are no strangers. It's not only about who you have slept with. Do you know who your previous lovers have slept with? City, it's real. Talk shows allow people to share their stories and experiences, successfully breaking down stigmas and forging understanding of the human dimension of the epidemic. If you disclose publicly, that's, that's stressful on its own. If you go to the shopping mall, people say, oh, there's the AIDS guy. You risk things like those. It's very difficult to convince men to change their attitudes, particularly when it comes to things like healthcare. Perception that accessing healthcare makes a man look weak, makes a man look like he's not the strong provider that he should be for a family. Mass media activities provide the backdrop to mobilize communities to action through theater projects, school workshops, and community events. The internet and social media like Twitter and Facebook expand on the mass media messaging, providing a platform for people to talk about the issues and influence each other through peer-to-peer -peer dialogue. Telephone helplines and SMS technologies are being used to direct people to available services and places where they can get help. I'm wondering if you can help me. Um, I'm looking for information on HIV support groups. In 2010, the I Am Responsible campaign, led by the President, the Deputy President and the Minister of Health, mobilized the political leadership to encourage 15 million South Africans to know their HIV status. We are continuing this campaign to fight the disease called HIV and AIDS and TB, but also to fight non-communicable diseases. All of us 
in this country should know our status. It's important because once you know your status, you then know how to conduct yourself. So make a move. Communicators spread the word, encouraging counseling and testing. Famous South Africans from the worlds of sport and entertainment threw their weight behind the campaign, testing publicly. So, okay, I encourage you to just know the status. They don't have to buy it in another wiki, it's a thing like in public. Hi, I'm John Smith, my brother for life, and I've just been tested. Government and NGOs took HIV testing out of the clinic and into the community, testing people at taxi ranks, sporting events, shopping malls, and workplaces. Since the onset of the epidemic, communication programs have been promoting the uptake of condoms amongst the population. In 1998, Condom usage at last sex in South Africa was only 8% and today has increased to just under 50%. Concerted communication efforts combined with increased availability of condoms over the years has seen condom usage rates increase, particularly amongst young people. Today communication programs are working to maintain these high rates while encouraging young people to use condoms from the start. Communication programs are increasingly addressing social norms and attitudes towards alcohol consumption, focusing on excessive alcohol consumption as a contributor towards unsafe sex, dangerous driving and violence. your style. Use a condom properly every time. That's it. If you think Jack is too drunk to put it on, don't put him in the game. Shame. Scrutinize. In the case of medical male circumcision, communication interventions are not only increasing the public's knowledge of the benefits of MMC, but have integrated the use of SMS technology that allow men to find their nearest clinic offering the service, as well as to provide vital information on how to care for their wound. At the clinic, they told me how it was good for my health, and now it reduces my risk for STI and HIV. Through social modeling, communication programs show the benefits of how to prevent mother-to-child transmission of HIV, or PMTCT. When you find you are pregnant, you must start attending the clinic for maternal health services. These stories encourage pregnant women to access PMTCT services while encouraging men to support their partners. Make the decision to support your partner. Your baby's PCR result is negative. South Africa always had very high rates of tuberculosis or TB that have been exacerbated by the HIV epidemic. Communicators use their craft to educate the population about ways to avoid TB infection and transmission. Coughing can put TB germs in the air. They are there, even if you can't see them. Where the hell did you get TB? Well, you know, not to say, but any of the dodgy clubs that I used to hang around in. It takes every single one of the 180 doses of medicine to cure TB. Communication stress the importance of treatment adherence and that TB is curable, even when people are living with HIV. Communication programs promote the uptake of antiretroviral treatment as a way to improve and prolong the lives of people with AIDS. With over 5.6 million South Africans living with HIV, it is important to challenge myths that surround treatment. It's vital to ensure that the population understands the benefits of treatment and that people support those living with HIV to adhere to taking their treatment for life. Communication informed by research is a crucial arm in the response against HIV. Communicators, service providers and government working side by side empower South Africans to take action.